legacy. I filched my grandmother's lap from her front porch a week after her funeral. I was moving again, but three years passed before I even used it. Cracked at the brass base, the things lima bean china bristled within when first lit, and on top, instead of a shade, there was some friend's old fedora. Is there any message for that glow of the three-way bulb, shorting before lazing? It knows of generations, owners, and houses. It knows of conversations, traffic surf, bird whistles, and leaf sighs. It has held them the way a circus has held. Congenial, this cord-wrapped vase, these electric secrets spreading, encapsulating radiance. Tonight, on the floor, by my bed of worn couch cushions, steamy mug and spill brushes, the lamp stands as my grandmother once stood, humble and useful, while I paint all I can of these refracted windows. Such neon rippling and streaks of purple monochrome, now slowly fading as night blues to dawn. Grandma, how can I hold them? Sit down with each stroke, but loses time and light. Oh yes, I remember. Take this lamp. Reuse tea bags and stamps. Your cycle of advice resounding real and still. So maybe someday, by lamplight, again, after another move, I will look at this painting, look, feel, and know. Those were the shadows. That was the wall.